Now it's time for us to take a look at your first few chords, and we'll be covering major chords, minor chords, and a few sevenths, but not too many chords, just enough to get you going on playing a few popular tunes. And there's thousands of tunes that just use two or three or four chords. But before we get going, I want to show you how in this project we have uh, some diagrams laid out, and I want to explain the fingering conventions and how you can visualize what I'm doing with my hands and how you can compare them to the diagrams that you'll be looking at. So let's take a look at those now. We're about to take a look at a chord diagram and I'd like to show you how you can interpret these chords from the diagram so that your fingers can play them without any confusion. So let me turn the guitar this way and if you take a look here you can see the white piece that we talked about earlier which is the nut. And then this space here is the 1st fret, 2nd fret, and 3rd fret. And you'll notice these horizontal lines here. Those are your fret markers for you. So this space in here would be the 1st fret. And then these are your strings going vertically. And from the heavy string, the bass string, all the way through 1, is labeled E, A, D, G, B, and E. So if I were going to take a look at my C chord that you see up on the screen, the fingers with the left hand are one, two, three, and four, as we mentioned before. And I can take my first finger, and as you can see from the diagram, I place it on the first fret and the second string. The number two you see on the diagram, I put on the fourth string, second fret. And then the number three you see will be on the third fret. So if you take a look at the diagram, you should see this shape, and this is how your fingers look. And that should give you a good start. You'll also notice that when you're looking at the chord diagrams, as right along here where your nut is, you'll notice some X's and O's. And whenever you see an X, that designates that you should try and avoid playing that particular string. And the opposite goes for the O's. If you see an O where there's not a fretted uh, note, for example, with the C chord, you see that the third string here is open. So you can go ahead and strum that one. That is valid. Let me go ahead and put it in this position, and I'm going to start with our first chord, which will be an A chord. <laughs> 